your feet. Across the land. To the beat. Sing it along with us. Let's set friendship in motion. Let's set friendship in motion. Stay on the tracks and stand still all day. Or you can keep chugging and get on your way. Something that's new. Make friends everywhere you go. They'll be there through and through. Let's go, 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 and set friendship in motion. Go, go, go. Let's go, 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 and show what good friends we can Let's be. Let's give it a try. Come on. Let's go, 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 and we'll start a commotion from ocean to ocean. Set friendship in motion. Duck and Percy enjoyed their work at the harbour, pulling and pushing trucks full of cargo to and from the quay. But one morning, the engines were exhausted. The harbour was busier than ever. So Topham Hat promised that another engine would be found to help them. It's about time! Huh! You telling me? You know what, I ache so much I can hardly get my wheels to move! They waited for the engine to arrive. It came as a shock when he did! Good morning! The two engines have not worked with Diesel for a long time. <gasps> Diesel! What are you doing here? Your worthy top uh, Sir Topham Hat sent me. I hope you are pleased to see me again. I am to shunt some dreadfully tiresome trucks. Shunt where? Where? Why from here to there? And then again from there to here. Easy, isn't it? With that, Diesel as if to make himself quite clear, bump some trucks hard. Oh! Oh. Percy and Duck were horrified. They did not trust Diesel at all. They refused to work and would not leave their shed. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying his tea and iced bun when the telephone rang. So there's trouble in the harbour yard. I'll be there right away. Diesel was working loudly and alone. Cargo lay on the quay, ships and passengers were delayed, everyone was complaining about Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Meanwhile, Duck and Percy were sulking in their shed. <coughs> What's all this? We're on strike, sir. Yes, beg pardon, sir, but we won't work with Diesel, sir. Then, in a quiet, hurt voice, he added, You said you sent him packing, sir. I have to give Diesel a second chance. I'm trying to help by bringing Diesel here. Now you must help me. He was the only engine available. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. The next morning, things were no better. Diesel's driver had not put his brakes on properly, and Diesel started to move. He went bump! Straight into Percy. Ah, what was that? Wake up there, Percy. You have work to do. <laughs> hmm. I could have said sorry. Later, Diesel bumped the truck so hard that the loads went everywhere. <gasps> what was the top of that say? <sighs> he won't like it. So who is going to tell him, I wonder? Hmm? Two goody goody tattletales like you, I suppose? Percy and Duck did not want to be tattletales, so they said nothing. <laughs> I love being me. The next day he was shunting trucks full of china clay. He banged the trucks hard into no, the buffers, no, 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 but the no, buffers no, weren't no. secure. The silly trucks were sunk. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Soon, Sir Topham Hatt heard the news. The trucks were hoisted safely from the sea, but the clay was lost. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Diesel. The harbour master has told me everything. Things were much better here before you arrived. I shall not be inviting you back. Now, Doc and Percy, I hope you don't mind having to handle the work by yourselves again. Oh, no, sir. Yes, please, sir. Whistling cheerfully, Duck and Percy went back to work, while Diesel soaked slowly away. <sighs> Whatever. I'm out of here. They ought to say of me, I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full of surprises. As you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. I can't really see anything under here. I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. Some would probably say, I'm only up to my old tricks. But I'd say, I'm a problem solver, looking for a nice quick fix. <laughs> I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the rail. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see. I'm trusting my surprises to prevail. I hope this time being surprising doesn't fail. They used to call me devious. Because I had a bit of previous. Let someone know. But please, you must be levious. Oh. I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, maybe just a taste. 